Hi everyone and welcome to Big Oggy Golf. Today I am at home. I've had a couple of really busy days doing filming. Uh, but today we're going to do a little product review. This is not in one of those QVC ones, but every now and again I do get products that come to me and uh, it's not sponsored in any way. They just happen to give me a couple of these items. We're just going to show them off and sometimes in golf you get fancy equipment you want to test out. Sometimes you get quirky things like this which I just think are really cool and I think might be useful to you. My wife is on camera at the moment. If this, if this is unsteady, it's because my wife is about five foot tall and I'm six foot three and she's actually got this right up in the air at the moment on a little monopod, haven't you? Are you yeah, struggling? Yeah, it's like above shoulder length. Bring it down right. a bit, because you're going to hurt your arms. There you go. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a camera the other way to show you the, the faith that she's put in trying to work this camera. Right, so, uh, if you know the other day, uh, we did uh, a couple of videos and we incorporated the E-Caddy. Uh, the E-Caddy is a fantastic powered trike that uh, Simon Parks and I and some people from UK Corporate Golf got a chance to try out at St. Pierre and they did a video about it. Now, I spoke to the designers of the E-Caddy and they're also bringing out something which is not powered, not, you know, a lot of money but actually it'd be really useful for golfers. Now, you know, like I do, that golfers collect hats. We wear hats everywhere, all the time, and like most golfers, you end up with numerous amounts of them. Um, and I think part of the reason why we end up with lots of them is because they're difficult to clean. I know, it's a cleaning video, why I'm in my kitchen. Um, so, as I was speaking to the gentleman Sean who runs eCaddy and he's brought out this device. This. It's called the Head Nut or Head Nuts with a Z and uh, it's designed to wash baseball caps, golf caps, athletic caps. We actually tried one out the other day with our daughter's running cap from um, Nike. So we're going to put a couple of these in today to test out. The idea is the uh, cap goes in here I believe, my wife will demonstrate in a second, and that uh, they can go in the washing machine or the dishwasher. Now, the reason why Kelly is going to do the demo is because although I'm officially a carer and I do things around the house, I'm not allowed, she's putting your faces there, I'm not allowed to go anywhere near the dishwasher or the washing machine. Unless it's to load. Unless it's to load and you're around. And the reason is because obviously, especially if you're a golf mate, you know that Liam Harrison, my friend, advises you can put your golf shoes in your dishwasher. She won't let me do it. So, I'll have to leave them there and I'm going to pass this over to uh, my lovely assistant and I'll be able to replace the uh, tripod with me. Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Oggy. Golf widow, golf widow. YouTube widow. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. This is Kelly. You would have seen Kelly on some of our uh, little competition videos, especially one when we made sandwiches for a competition, which was kind of cool. Um, you are my Dolly dealer from time to time. And uh, it's about the time you came on the channel more. Okay, so we're going to do this cap thing. I tried it the other day with one of these um, with a white cap. So that was yeah, the that ultimate Yeah, that was the test. ultimate test, wasn't it? And I have to say... From being a non-believer, because I looked at it and thought, yeah, right, that's not going to work. Um, the white cap came out really well. I can't show you it because my daughter's got it on her head today. Yeah, she's so. obsessed by wearing it, so it got really dirty, didn't it? Yeah. And I should take it to school. So, we're going to do two. We're going to do this one. Which is my Scott Redman hat, so thank you, Scott, for um, allowing me to use this to demonstrate. Um, it's a bit dirty on the sides and a bit It's a bit sweaty. dirty everywhere. I wear it a lot. Yeah, it's and it's very... It's, Sweaty, I think is the well, thing. Well, I think the thing is, as you know, I'm strawberry blonde. <laughs> uh, so, you know, there's a lot of sun cream that gets on these. And obviously, when you finish them, there's a lot of sweat as well, especially in hot weather. I know that sounds disgusting, but there is. And uh, you end up, like me, throwing stuff in the back of the car, along with dirty trolleys and whatever, so it gets muddy. All those kind of things. Right, so what I did the other day was I undid the back... And then you just put it onto the top of the device like that. And then you clip it closed. Okay, so it sits inside and it kind of traps everything. And the yeah, it sort of yeah. holds it in place. And I think the problem is with a kind of when you're trying to wash these in various different machines or whatever, or even by hand, 
is that a lot of the edges, or a lot of the cut it's, bit, yeah, a lot of the peak is, is cardboard. So uh, it's quite possible that it'll warp and uh, it just go horrible and you won't actually get to use it again. So this one is the prostrate cancer. Prostrate cancer, one which I used at the YouTube golf day and yeah, I'm using it a lot, still a like bit, to promote the charity. Yeah, a bit dusty and a bit manky. So again, on it goes. Now the one we did the other day, we actually put in the dishwasher. Yes, but we're gonna try both but, versions today yeah. since we got two. We're gonna try, we're gonna put one in the washing machine and we're gonna put one in the dishwasher. Because they say you can use both devices, so as we've got two, we'll try out both devices. Right, right. So, so we now have the two caps inserted into the head nuts. Head nuts, yeah. yeah. Head nuts frame, I guess. The one we did the other day, we did in the dishwasher. Um, I've not tried the washing machine one, but we're going to give, we're going to put them both in together and see which comes out best, basically. Yeah. So we'll put the pink one into the dishwasher. Has to be on the top shelf because I think at the bottom it gets too hot, probably. And uh, our dishwasher is currently empty. Yeah, um, don't you know, put it in. Don't with throw it in with all your stuff. really dirty stuff. That's not the really point. The point is to well, find out if this washes if properly. You put it in with dirty stuff. You're going to put more dirt onto your cap, so that's yeah, not, not the way not to good. do it. Uh, a normal dishwashing tab that I use all the time. Yeah, but we are warned not to use lemon versions. No lemon. Or versions, lemon detergent or anything. I think lemon um, bleaches. It's a, uh, astringent, is it? That's, Something like that. But yeah. it, it's probably not good. Uh, no, it's not good. Lemon's not good. Don't use lemon. But this is just a normal, so, you know, finished dishwasher tab. Other versions are available, but it's a normal standard one. So I did it normal, like I would do any other thing. So I usually do, we put it on a normal wash. We're using a tab, so that needs to go on and go. That one's on. Right. That one's going. Now, we've not tried the dish wa the wash machine yet. My worry is, I don't know how it's gonna- It'll Clang around clang a bit. Clang around. So what they've advised is that you put something in with it, yeah. but not, towels and heavy things not heavy stuff just a bit of light clothing so because the cap is black what i'm going to put in with it is just our son's school trousers might be having a bit of trouble with light here but unfortunately the the sun does shine through our kitchen window so a normal washing machine, machine this, this is a tab thing but that we use in it goes in goes the trousers to cushion it and in goes the the cap. Okay. So for this one, because it does recommend that you use delicates. So for this one, I'm going to put it on our ultra delicate wash. Well, I think that's more for the cap. I think it's the it's like you don't want a seriously hot thing because you know cardboard isn't yeah. seriously hot no matter what you do with it. Now what I've noticed on my wash machine on an ultra delicate, there's no spin to it. So therefore the cap would be full of water still. So I'm actually gonna do a 30 minute wash, which has got an 800 spin speed on it. So it should spin out the water okay. and it only takes 30 minutes and it's a 30 degree wash. Now, the obvious thing that I can see is that this is, only, this is gonna go to 30 degrees, whereas the normal wash on my dishwasher is 55 degrees so it's quite a lot warmer it'll be interesting to see so what happens. we'll just see what happens yep. so it's going to take 30 minutes in the washing machine it's going to take two hours and five minutes it's in the dishwasher. normal dishwasher cycle yeah so go and uh we'll come back to you in a while yeah they're both in we'll see what the results are later so 30 minutes have passed and the washing machine one is done. So turn that off and see how it came out. Just gonna get this one out. Obviously we've got to wait an hour and a half for the other one. Right, the first thing it has come on clipped, unfortunately. But we did say it would be thrown around a lot more in a dishwasher, Absolutely, so. yeah. And um, on first glimpses, it looks really good. Yeah, a lot cleaner and believe me it's had a lot of abuse. So we'll just leave it there. And let it dry. They say to leave them in them to dry. Yeah, don't you they? have to leave them so that they're staying in shape. 
So we'll wait for a while and see what comes of the other one and then we'll compare. Okay, we'll have some lunch. Yeah, lunch time. Okay, so I'm not Kelly. I'm not as shapely as Kelly. Um, Kelly's now back behind the camera. Yeah, I'm here. We have just got the other cap out of the dishwasher. It's run its full cycle. Uh, the only discussion we were having about this, or just off camera, is uh, when it's in the washing machine, it spins so it comes out drier. In certainly in our dishwasher, uh, it doesn't have like a dry cycle, so it comes out a bit wetter. The cap it comes actually out it wet, does yeah? have a dry cycle, but because it's cloth, it doesn't dry the same as like almost like it steams it. A bit. Yeah, so it, it stays gets a very bit hot, down. but it is still wet yeah but that's actually we also said it's a good thing because we actually think if you want to come in a bit closer on these don't you? uh that they actually come out better in the dishwasher i think the dishwasher does better it does a better job um so it just needs to dry yeah and i don't think it's it's that's a complaint i don't we're just trying out both examples of how you do this so this was the washing machine one this is the dishwasher one obviously they stay in the frames and uh, they stay in you there to see, stay the shape and stay the to dry. wet on the yeah. unit where it's come out of the dishwasher but again that's not a problem to me it was about how to wash them not how to dry them but as we said they will carry on in the frame and then they'll be dry and i'll be able to use them again very easily uh, i have to say i really like this product uh, i'm gonna have a word with eCaddy uh, and see if we can give one of these away and uh I suggest you go and take a look. I know they're having, uh, they've got a new Twitter profile for Head Nuts. Uh, but if you look at eCaddy, you can contact them through the eCaddy website for now. And uh, you can buy these. And I actually think they're pretty cheap. I'm not sure exactly what the price is, but honestly, they're, uh, they're really cheap. And I think they're worth it. Because let's be honest, we've got loads of hats and we like to keep them in good quality. And even when I stop using certain ones, I'm going to hang them up on my studio wall so there'll be like a whole collection of them. And I'd much rather they're nice and clean as opposed to filthy, dirty and smelly. Well, I think if they're dirty and horrible, you tend to chuck them out. Yeah, these are so, more, about, they can become collectible items as opposed yeah, to Yeah, and with wearing. this thing, you could technically keep them nice and clean and... Yeah, and know. in the fullness of time, once I've sorted the studio out, because I'm sorting out the studio area so we can do live chats and everything as well there. Uh, there will be flags, there will be hats all hung up. It's going to look really cool. So I just wanted to make sure I could get all my hats nice and clean, hang them all up properly. So thank you very much to eCaddy. Thank you very much for the head nuts device or the head nuts frame. I think it's a, I think it's a cracker. And uh, I'm sure they're going to be selling all over the place and they're going to be really, really popular. Speak to you all again soon, everybody. Going to be on a course very soon, hopefully near you. Bye for now. Say bye-bye, Kelly. Bye. Bye, everybody.